Luxus. <lacht>
what's this magical thing and you're not going to stop wanting it and it's going to be insane and it's going to be perfect every time and it's not going to be this and it's not going to, I'm lying, I'd be lying to you. That's why I feel like it's not that deep. If you wait for when you're older, when you're more comfortable, when you're more comfortable in your skin, when you own your power and you know how to own your power and you know how to own your body and you're just in a much more confident space because in our teens, hey man, we're scared about this and that and the other. I'm telling you, just wait. Just wait, baby girl. Wait. Your cup will never run empty, baby girl. Having sex with somebody does not depreciate, diminish, devalue your worth as a human being. It won't. It won't. So don't feel bad about having sex and having lots of it. Don't feel bad about wanting it yourself. Don't feel like, hi, as a girl, how am I supposed to? If you want it, you want it, girl. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you enjoyed it and you feel like, oh my goodness, this was so much fun and I want to do it again and whatever, you are well within your right. Having sex with somebody does not mean that person has owned your body in that time. It does not mean that person um, has now depreciated your value, your worth, your being as a person. No, 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 girl. Instead, all it means is that you are taking control. You're taking power of your worth and you're taking power of your body and who and and who is allowed access to it and who can see it and you are taking all of that into your own hands so see it that way don't see it as if your value is depreciating or diminishing in any way in fact see it as you owning your power and owning your body okay the next point is they don't care about your rolls, your flabs, your love handles, your this, your that. They don't care about it. All these things that you could potentially be asking yourself and wondering, I wonder what he thinks of this or she thinks of this or I wonder what they're going to say about this or whatever, whatever. They don't care. In that moment, in the moment of the action being done, of the action being, being lived out in that time, in that moment, they don't care. In fact, things change when people, when, 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 when someone is looking at you in that moment, in your nakedness, knowing what's about to happen. None of that. None of that. I can tell you right now, don't worry about it. If you've got stretch marks from here to here, you are me. I am you. Don't worry about it. It's not that deep. They're not even looking at it. And men have stretch marks too. And if you want to look close, look on the bums. They've got stretch marks too. So it's okay that you've got stretch marks. It's all right. You've got cellulite. It's all right. You've got thick thighs, thunder thighs. It's good. It's all good. They're not worried about that. So don't worry about it yourself. Don't worry. Another thing, sex is dirty. Sex is dirty. It's, it's stinky sometimes. It's just nasty. humans being at their most raw so don't be surprised if the room smells a certain way after you have sex baby girl don't be surprised it's okay it's not a big deal it happens it's one of the procedures and what have you you might fumble into one another you might da 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 da, da. there might be issues it's fine it's humans being at their most raw form and living it up and doing what humans do sex is dirty and it's stinky and don't be surprised if somebody opens the windows after that because sometimes that happens it's not dirty and stinky all the time no it isn't but it's not i i want to take you away from feeling like it's this thing of the movies and whatever i i it's it's raw okay it's 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 it is what it is. It's humans being their most primal, okay? And that's okay too. It's okay. It's okay. Next point. Don't take it too seriously. Don't. You need to try, if you're going to enjoy sex, baby girl. If you're going to enjoy sex, um, you have to not take yourself so seriously. You have to try and enjoy it. Try and loosen up. Have fun. Tell yourself, you know what it is, what it is. 
okay <laughs> my sister says that and one of my good friends palissa says that as well i was talking to her last week and she was like it is what it is honestly it is what it is okay try not to take it seriously try to have fun try to be in the moment don't think about anything else like your roles and your flaps and all the things that us women worry about and all of that try to be in the moment and have your fun my god this jersey is you know those lambs wool Ugh, they're so itchy um try to have fun try to do the like don't take yourself too seriously it's just one of those it ain't that deep I'm saying it ain't that deep, so don't take yourself too seriously. Have fun. Enjoy it. Be in the moment. Imunadi. You will eventually. When you get to the point where you own it and you know your body and whatever, whatever. Not the blind. Blind. But baby girl. Another point. And this one is very very serious. You can say no. Even if it's with your boyfriend. You can say no, even if it's with your boyfriend. You can say yes today and say no tomorrow. And he needs to understand he cannot take advantage of that. If you say no, you can say no and you should be screaming out loud. Screaming to the mountaintops. The, listen, ibine, ibine, ichante. Do whatever it is you need to do, but you can say no. Don't feel bad about saying no because hey, it's my boyfriend and because I've given it to him before and because I've done whatever, whatever, and because whatever. You can say no. You're not ready? No. You don't want to? No. And it doesn't have to do with anything about being ready or not. You don't want to? No. I don't want to have it. Ah, but, we're, are you, but we've been together for a year. And then? And then what? No. You can say no and own that. Nothing is wrong with saying no, baby girl. Absolutely nothing. Okay? So you can say no. The next points are, wear a condom. Always demand it. Want it. Need it. If you are about to embark on your sexual life and your sexuality and exploring it and having sex and all of that, wear a condom. Please don't play. Don't play. Don't play because chlamydia ain't no joke. Chlamydia ain't no joke. So please wear a condom. Please. And, and, and there is nothing wrong. There is no shame in requesting him to wear it. There is no shame in you wearing it if you want to wear the female one. You, there is no shame in wanting to wear a condom. And I need you to understand that. Please understand it now. Let, let, us, let us make it clear. There is no shame in wearing a condom. Wear it and demand it. What I could do, ha, Martalas Chola, ha, mina vela and bona, ha, mina vela was zoba sharp in yamin 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 Okay, don't let anyone make you feel bad for enjoying watching porn. You can watch it if you want to watch it, provided you are the legal age to watch it. Um, porn is enjoyable. You can watch it. Some people are for porn. Some people are not. I am not, personally. Uh, I've tried to watch it, but I, I, I feel some type of way when I do. I really don't. And it's not the good way. Like, it's not the, ooh, I want to try that. Oh, yes, yes. It's just the... I, <laughs> I'm very over analytical with porn. I'm like, that's not realistic. What is he doing? No, you can't do that. Yeah, she can't do that. That's not real. So I can't watch. <laughs> my my partner knows that. He he knows I can't watch porn with Katleo because she's a mess. She's not gonna. She's gonna be critiquing everything. Like no. That's unrealistic stop that stop <laughs> so i don't particularly watch it um but i feel like men especially shouldn't feel ashamed about enjoying porn and watching it because i feel like that is put on men like men watch it men enjoy it we know that men enjoy porn and whatever whatever but there are women who enjoy it too so you can watch it and you can enjoy it and love on it baby girl that's fine that's really okay no biggie no baby. The last one is these two things are very different. Sex is sex and love is love. 
You need to understand sex is sex and love is love. If you just want to have sex and you don't want any love attachment to it and whatever, you are well within your right to have sex with whoever you want to have sex with. That is cool. That is okay. Sex is sex and love is love. And then if you are in love and you have sex and you have sex with someone you love and whatever, of course, that makes it 10 times more special, which is amazing. But it's love with sex. But sex is sex. And love is love. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next Candid with Cat with a K. I'll see you soon. Bye.